as part of our study of economic methodology, let's spend a few minutes looking at positive and normative statements. So positive statements are objective statements that can be tested and evaluated based on empirical evidence, the data. And they tend to describe the world how it is without expressing value judgments, without expressing opinions. Often positive statements involve cause and effect built into theories. And they're often used as part of economic analysis at a micro and macro level, making economic forecasts and empirical research. So a good example, an increase in the minimum wage will lead to higher unemployment amongst low skilled work as well. It might do, it might not. We can test it. It's not uh, necessarily casting a view about the efficacy or the impact of the, the positive or negative aspects of a minimum wage. Inflation in the past decade for the UK economy has averaged around 2%. Well, we can test that. It's an objective statement. An increase in consumer income tends to lead to higher demand for normal goods. So if people's living standards rise, they tend to buy more of particular goods and services. And again, we can test that. Now, normative statements are subjective. They carry one or more value judgment about what ought to be. And often, value judgments involve political considerations, um, they involve personal beliefs, moral considerations, ethical standpoints, policy preferences. And they're not testable through empirical analysis alone. The government should increase funding for state education to improve social welfare. Taxes on high income earners should be lifted to reduce income inequality. The central bank should prioritise full employment over controlling inflation. And a sustained fall in house prices would be good for the UK economy in the long run. Now, we can, we can build some objective analysis into these, but essentially they carry um, normative views. The distinction between positive and normative statements isn't always clear cut. Some statements may have elements of both, but what matters is the intent behind the statement. Is it essentially a fact or does it express a subjective comment? Now, positive statements help us understand the economic world through empirical analysis, the use of data. Normative statements are used to build and express opinions. They guide policies based on ethical, political and value based considerations. Have a go at these three questions. Which of these is a correct definition of a positive statement? What do you think for question one? And the answer here is D. Positive statement can be tested using verifiable data. Question two, which list of attributes here is the best description of a normative economic statement? Have a go at question two. And the best definition here is D, normative statement uses subjective arguments and value judgments. And finally, question three, which of the following is an example of a leading question? A leading question. Can you find an example from the options there? And the best answer here, the right answer is B. So well done if you got all three right. We'll follow this video up with a short video looking at value judgments.